guys, I'm back with a new video. This is my small little series of flip throughing slash reviewing the DK workbook math. My last video, I flipped through the kindergarten version, and today I will be flip throughing the first grade one. So let's move these two to the side. In the last video, I, if you watched it, I talked about how the kindergarten workbook, this one right here, is more of an advanced kindergarten slash beginning first grade workbook. There's a lot of things that I do believe kindergartens would not know, especially in public schools and some homeschool kids. Um, so be careful with this workbook. Same thing with this one. This one looks like, not looks, but it's, you know, in the cover, it says in big bold letters that it's first grade. But from what I have looked, it is not first grade. It is more of a, excuse me, <clears throat> more of a advanced first grade. Um, or even, be, I wouldn't say beginning second, but more of an advanced first grade. Um, you know, this is too, too advanced. Um, so, you know, this is definitely not a workbook that you would just give your first grader when they're first starting um, their school year. This is more of like in the middle of their first grade year or even in the end to review because this does have a lot of advanced work. So, yeah. Just letting you guys know that's the only problem with these workbooks that I have found but overall I really enjoy it so this is the first grade one um, it has some blocks which is interesting but I would expect them to have like this one on here and that one here but whatever <laughs> this meets common core state standards makes learning easy and fun and builds boost key skills 200 gold star rewards 200 gold reward stars um, it includes, I don't think the other one had it, but here are the stars. I'll show you a close-up. There you go. Um, so here is what it goes over. Um, this, this is the first grade one, which supports your child expanding math skills in addition to practicing core topics learned in early grades. Children will become familiar with simple graphs, taking measurements, and concepts such as symmetry, black and white, this color is green the kindergarten one was yellow just going to show you a little bit okay let's start flipping through this book this is the content page and i'll zoom it in and you can pause the video and read it there you go it does have a certificate at the end and if you want to know how to teach each lesson in the back in page 49 it has the answer section as well as the parents notes that help you um, these little little paragraph that help you teach each page the first page um, here it is this is what it looks like it's black and white a little bit of green um, but pretty simple it goes straight into place value It does have a lot of place value. I have looked through this workbook and it goes into place value a lot. So that already tells you for parents who want to know place value, addition, subtraction is really important in first grade. Really nice. Um, you know, goes over subtraction right there. Subtraction with pictures and as well just regular subtraction. A lot of like, um, what are these called? problems like subtraction problems or addition problems I don't know if right away your kinder not your kindergarten your first grade is supposed to know this In my opinion I have not experienced first grade um, public schools with the twins yet they are going to be starting next month but I'm pretty sure that they are not going to be learning this type of subtraction in the first couple of months this may start either in beginning of December maybe even late December on learning this but, you know, I haven't experienced first grade in public school, so it may be a little different. And they may start earlier. They may not. Super simple. They start, well, not really. They started right with place value and really, like, difficult subtraction. But, um, you know, they have some identifying shapes and corners and sides. So, here you go counting animals here's the number line if you're looking for a curriculum that's really similar but is really in-depth 
I recommend looking into Horizon. I understand that a lot of parents who either homeschool their children or who put their kids in public schools and need something to kind of like give their child a little boost, they want to go with these. But I understand that these are a lot more cheaper, but if you want something that really would help your child, go with Horizon. Horizon goes pretty much it's exactly like this, but just more in depth. Oh, I use it with Monique and she loves it and it's colorful and it's a lot more colorful than this and I feel like a lot of kids need that some don't some do like I said this is already page 23 so if you do one page a day this will be day 23 and your child would already have to know this um, so that's why I say use this either for advanced first graders or maybe advanced kindergartners advanced kids or at the end of a lesson let's say you finish teaching your child how to do addition like this you can do this or maybe um, at the end of the year of first grade because this is too advanced for first graders in my opinion Monique and David could do a lot of this but that's because I did advanced work with them early on but not a lot of parents and teachers do that It's still a good workbook. It still really is. Um, here it is. It tells you how to do time. The minute hand moves as the minute go by. So it's telling time by the hour. Yeah. Okay. So right here is telling time by the hour. This is half past. Um, O'clock. So still by the hour. So pretty much they're learning just by the hour and half past same thing they did in the kindergarten so it's just a lot a little bit more different in time I like that that is gone over in the horizons book that I'm using with Monique calendar which is pretty simple okay here is where it goes over measurements measurements like rulers and from my opinion I don't think I saw any more I think this is the only page where they go over this but I could be wrong see this is not something that you want as a main curriculum this is more of a review because a lot of children need more practice in this one page is not enough for a lot of kids okay Here's some of the graph. They go over graph a little more than measurements, I guess. That measurements is more a little bit more important. Here's the um, quick adding. Three number. More quick adding stuff. Quick subtraction. Not, sorry, not quick adding. And that is it. That is the workbook. Um, 47 pages of random worksheets in my opinion this is more of like okay this could also be used let's say that you use horizons or you use a becca or you use saxon and you want you know like for example a becca if you have to buy like a separate book to give the child a test that's expensive this book i'm pretty sure is a lot cheaper i have not looked i could write the price in the um comments or in the description down below of how much this book runs for but if you go to your public library maybe they have it um, and you can just make photocopies for a lot cheaper but like I said you can use this as a test maybe your child has finished doing addition like this kind of addition maybe you can just give this to your child and see if they're actually learning what they're supposed to um, same thing with like the measurements you it's just one page so this could be like a test um, so yeah, that could be another option for you. So here's the certificate. Congratulations to Charles Name for successfully finishing this book. Good job, you're a star. Another thing that I didn't mention in my kindergarten one that I should have mentioned is just because your child has finished the first grade one doesn't mean that your child should move on to the next grade. Not at all. Let's say that you are a parent who sh their child is going, attending, sorry, public school. You give this to your, to your child, they finish the 47 pages. Don't just move on to the second grade one because this is not enough problems for your child to learn everything. Just because your child finished this book doesn't mean that they're able to do math in a first grade level. This is mainly just a review book. And they do mention it here that this is not a full book, full curriculum. This is more of like an exercise book that you just give your child to um, review. 
but this is definitely not a full curriculum that you could just give to your child and then move on to the next grade. But this is a great workbook, like I said, for many, many things. Um, this is not a first grade workbook in my opinion, and this is more of an advanced first grade when it comes to public school standards, but this could mean different things for your child. This could be really easy or really hard for them. Depends. That's pretty much it. That's the workbook. This is DK workbook. Sorry, let me put my camera a little higher. This is DK workbook grade one math. If you guys have any questions, oops. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.